Good morning, friends and fellow farmers. 3,500 quiet night. We were trying to do some fishing in the mines and bombing. Bombing and fishing. That's all we were doing. I just thought, oh, let's just try and get some resources really quick and easily. And it, you know, didn't, wasn't that successful, I would say. I'd say mildly successful. Good morning, kiddo. Hello, Penny. Sorry if I smell. I was sweating all night in the heat. Uh, that's interesting. I've never had that one from Penny. I know I've heard this one. Uh, you can get that one from Harvey. He says that. But I did not know Penny would say that. Maybe she said it last summer and I, I just didn't see that. But I don't remember that. I, th I feel like I would remember that. That is, it's funny because that's the exact one my, my wife complained about from Harvey. She's like, oh, does he need to say that? Like, I don't want to hear about it. Tell, tell me something else, Harvey. Oh, no, that's it, eh? Okay. Okay, so let's let's dump off some stuff here. We've got a few things, apparently. Wow. Yeah, we did we did all right. We, we've got a few things. Nothing too dramatic, but, a, you know, a couple of things. That's all right. Um, hmm. How do we want to do this here? I guess we'll... I don't know why everything... Yeah, okay, it says diamond, but it, I thought it looked like a... Dear James, I'm so bored out here in the desert that I wrote you a letter. Here, There's a recipe for delicious soup enclosed. Come visit me soon, Sandy. Tom Ka Soup. Oh. Beautiful. So I know how to make a Tom Ka Soup now. Must be that. Let's go see what this entails. Okay, so that's after bread. Coconut, shrimp, and common mushroom. Let's see about this. Yeah, perfect. Coconut, shrimp, and common mushroom. Here's a common mushroom. And I should have a shrimp in here. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. What does this one give us? Whoa. Look at that. Let's try this out. Does it? It does. Oh, wow. It bumps our energy. Like our energy bar is through the roof as it stands. It's actually kind of weakened because we, uh, we burn so much energy out of the mines. Now, I see we do have a couple of uh, magma geodes. That's all right. I actually will... Uh, We'll go get, get those cracked, I think. So Monday, which means... Um, there, I'm going to put the bomb in here. That's what I was looking to do. Now, I don't have any repository for this other stuff. That's fine. Okay. All right, let's go put our gems and all the, the good stuff we got away from here. Okay. We'll keep the geodes. That's good. I, you know what? I think we can stop on the, that ore right now. We've got enough copper smelted, I think. Um, and I need to get crafting some more um, useful stuff. Some of those chests and things. Or not chests. Um, kegs and uh, things to put our other stuff into. <laughs> Whatever you call them. Okay, so our farming is up, but we don't have stuff that appears to be out of the ground yet. Bananas. Okay. What else can we do? Okay, we're going to be waiting on those recycling machines. So I'm just going to put the recycling in here. Let's just get that out of our inventory. No sense in packing that around. Wow, there's a few truffles in there. I should probably go clear out their junk. Again, I'm not that motivated. Now that we've got that thing collecting for us, I, it's really killed my motivation for going in there and dealing with that. Which is kind of too bad. I'm sorry, my friends. Oh, no, I'm accidentally picking them up. Well, I'm trying to pet them, so I guess we'll just pick them up now. Coming through, coming through. Hope the uh, machines are treating you all nicely. Oh, good. We have some more, some more honey. Do we have any more sap? Or more, uh... No. Oh, we got something. <laughs> Whatever that was. Now, how's our tree supply doing here? Okay, they're grown in. Now, 
Now I should probably also, while I'm down in this area, let's just thin out this a little bit. Alright, and then we'll go, I guess we'll go see Clint fairly early here. I cannot wait till this field of, uh, Field of Dreams appears for me. I don't recall. I know if you put the wine in the cask, it takes, I think, two seasons or something. Oh yeah, that mead does not take long at all. Wow. Well, that's good to know. Okay, let's get Rip Roaring. Nope. Let's not. So I'm just going to throw my beans in here. That seems like a good idea. Let's get... Uh, wow, we got a few truffles. 54, 18, and 14. Yeah, that's a few. That'll tide us over for the, the bad years. Oh good, that was extra coal. Excellent. Now, you know what? Let's, uh, while we're out... We may as well grab a few meals. Let's see, what gives us... Okay. So we got, yeah, right, the trout soup will give us fishing. Oh, plus three fishing. Whoa. Okay, that one, we that's the one we should be taking when we go out into the... Uh... Look at this. Wow. Those are some really good meals. When we go to try to get the... Uh... Oh, and you know what? <laughs> I want to get some spinners. So what do we got here? We've got, uh... Did I put them all in this one? There we go. Increases chances of finding treasure when fishing. Okay, well that might be useful for the day. Um, we'll increase the bite rate. Well, that might help. Fish don't escape. Cause the fish to escape slower. Oh, that's useful for that legend. Uh, slightly increases the bite rate. Increases the size of your fishing bar. Well, that seems useful. Okay. Now that we're totally full of uh, beans here, let's go out and do this. Yeah, it's funny, that lava fish, I feel like I'm... I'm maybe not powerful enough to get them, but like we totally are. Like uh, about, we're about as powerful as we're going to get. That's what's bananas. What am I doing? Why am I going here? I don't want to talk to you, Gunter. I've got nothing for you, my friend. Okay, Clint, uh, I got some geodes to crack. Okay. Something good, buddy. No. Okay, rock. The rock's fine. No ocean stone? Is that it? Geminite. I don't think either of those... I think... Yes. No. Okay, uh, what's that? Timothy? You want to sell me an ice cream? Well, yeah, that's weird, but okay. It's not every day your horse sells you ice cream, so when your horse says, Hey, you want to buy some ice cream? I guess you just gotta roll with that, right? Okay, so I don't know where I should really go fishing. This is the thing. I want to go lava fishing for sure. I'm going to have one of my moderate fishy meals. Now, which one? Uh, I'm going to put my chance of, chance of finding treasure one on currently. What, I can't have the lure and the what? I guess you can't have the bait and that at the same time.
don't know, how about, how about I remember how to play this game? That would be good. Okay. And you know what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of uh, the that and the precious rock that I got. I'm just going to dispose of that currently. And I'm going to get rid of this. I'm got to stop carrying so much junk around with me. All right, so let's let's do this. So chance of finding treasure is increased. So let's see what this does for us. Oh, uh, look at that. Interesting. Okay. That's good. Bait. You've used your last piece of bait. What? What, what does that mean? Oh, is that a one hit? Is that what that is? No way. Huh. So that's the thing. That one acts as... Wow, so you need a lot of those if you wanted to steadily use those. So you're definitely getting a treasure, but... You're taking your chances on what uh, what's going to happen there. Hmm. Interesting. Well, it's a busy little fish. What do you what do you got going on there, fishy? Sturgeon. Pike. Pike. I'm in pike territory. So wonder what else I think I'll move off this territory rather quickly. This is stuff you want early on, though. Like, that's hard to get. Alright, that's my cue. I'm gonna head off down here now. Oh, hold up. Why is that a green arrow? Why does it give me a green arrow? What is that about? Oh, I can't get down there. I see there's some uh, gold panning. Oh, that's interesting. I never noticed that that was uh, in a different color. Yeah, no, I'm on the opposite side of the bank. Oh man, that's funny. So that's good to know. I don't know if it differentiated before with the arrow, if it would tell me if it was a green arrow or not. Oh, this guy's feisty too. It's all these feisty fish today. Another pike. Are you kidding me? Oh, wait, hold up. Now let's go down. There's this little shadow in this gully here. Let's try this a little bit. Hmm. Again, this is going like pike, but... And look at it. Lo and behold, it is. I'm hoping it's something good down there. Not a pike, not a pike, not a pike. Sunfish, new record. Okay, I'll try over here. Oh, what the? I don't know why. That sound spooked me. Ah! It's just you, Jody. Money on pike? Money on pike, anyone? Oh, and a new record. Now, did we, are we maxed out with gifts with Krobas today? Let's go see. No. No, no. We can, uh, we can definitely go give Krobas the, his gifts this week. Okay, perfect. Krobas, Krobas, coming to give you gifts. You're welcome, buddy. 
Crobus means bridge crosser in our language. Oh. Good to know. I did not know that. Bridge crosser. I thought it was m made of filth. I'm glad to know it's it's something. Where did I leave my horse? Is that, is that you, Timothy? Yes. Yes, it is. Hello. Hey, Wills. How about I come out? I'm going to come fishing with you, my friend. He's going for the close, Bob. See, I should be taking lessons from the master here. Yep. So, Will. Read any good books lately? Red mullet. Hmm. What do we got? What do we got? Amethyst. Oh, that's perfect, because I need to give some to the, uh, the dwarf. Hmm. You know what we'll do? Let's get rid of this pike. It's funny, I never got into the fishing economy. That's a thing. I don't, I couldn't even tell you what the price of fish are. That's how bad I don't understand the fishing economy. I really should have. That's, uh, yeah, I don't know why. I think I've always felt like the fishing was the least interesting thing to watch in this game because there is more, I, I tend, there's less to talk about, I think. Okay. Uh, what, who, any low quality fish here? Low quality fish? I don't know, whatever. Okay. We're going to head out. That was, uh. Although, well, we should wait around, because nighttime fishing changes things. So, let's see here. What do we want to... We still get our fishing buff in place. That's um, impressive. Um, how's our bobber doing? Still going. Huh. Okay, I'll get rid of that. Yeah. Okay. I might just end up turfing fish. We'll see. I think the problem is I don't know entirely what I'm going to do each day, and so I tend to bring a lot. I'm like, be prepared, right? That policy isn't the best when you're going to go fishing. This guy's whatever this is, is really got some... Uh, I should take this more seriously. Whoa, super cute. I've only caught one of those before. That's pretty cool. Is this another one? See, it's that whole, like, being able to follow it a little bit that I'm finding with that lava fish. Another one. Wow. Okay. Well, I think super cute trumps pretty much anything else. Like you. Now, I guess, I don't know, I feel like maybe I should go try the lava fish now. I feel like we're warmed up. Okay, let's do this. We're going to go over to Clint's. We'll just take the, the transit up. Hey, Clint. Just using the minecarts. Do, 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 do. I'd like to go uh, see where the minecarts, how they get over here. <laughs> Hello, my friend. What do you got? What is this concept you call private property? Okay. So now, what? Uh, we'll have to figure out what mining buff we want to have on and all that. So let's try this out. We, we got this. Level 100. We're coming for you, big dog. Okay. Because it, it literally is probably a dog down there. Um, OK. 
Okay, so I might eat the pancakes just to get them out of my way. <laughs> I'll eat the ice cream cone to get them out of my way. And then what is, uh... Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so we've got the one that's going to go slightly increase the size of your fishing bar or cause fish to escape slower. Oh, when you aren't reeling them in. What does that mean even? I don't even know what that means. Okay, I'm going to put this one here. And then in terms of the meals, we got the plus three fishing. What? The lobster bisque. Well, that's the thing, isn't it? Oop, um... Okay, let's we're we're gonna do this now. You're coming with me, lava face. It's probably horrifying. Can you imagine if you actually caught a lava fish? If it can survive in lava, it's some kind of just horrific exophile. You don't even want it. You'd be like, ah it's got eighteen eyeballs and seventy-five legs. It's about four hundred pounds. It just will it'll strip a human to the bone in like three seconds. There's, we just should not have caught it. We should have left this mine well enough alone. I need my luck up is what I need. Well, fishing is up. I mean, everything about, like, we're in a good place. Okay, this is it. We got this. Whoa. Oh, this guy's being tricky. Don't be tricky. Look at the size of that fishing bar, though. Oh, come on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. There it is. The lava eel. The lava eel, people. We got it. We got it. Oh, I love it. All right. So what are we going to get rid of? Sorry, champ. You're uh, you're out of here. Gold star and up only, my friend. Need to apply. Wow, that's cool. Let's go throw that at the kids. Hey, kids. Guess what? Uh, ah! I'm so sorry, Penny. Look what your dad ah! got you guys. It's a gift. It's a gift from nature. Why do you guys hate nature so much? <laughs> Just crying, uncontrollable crying. Why did you do this to our family? I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. That's, I feel like that would be how I would be as a dad in this game. Just a dummy. Just thinking it's funny. I once had, I, I may have told this story before. I once had an uncle there was a there was this kind of like a a guy on the loose. Oh, gross! I should not have drank that. There was a guy on the loose um, in uh, some in some small town, and uh, well, it was a moderate sized town. Now I was in a very very small town, like a, a tiny little town at this time, visiting some relatives, and my uncle thought it would be just ha 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 if uh, I thought uh, well okay so. <laughs> We see the new bro news broadcast, and uh, then it's a little while it passes, and then my aunt's like, "Oh, someone's at the door," and we hear her knocking, and she's like, "Oh, I don't, I don't know. Maybe uh, they'll, you know, look through the curtain first. So I look through the curtain, and there's this horrific-looking, crazed old man out there, and I, I swear he had a gun. I don't know that in fact he did this, but I would not have put it past him." Um, and I, I freaked out. I jumped over the couch at a full tilt. I, I just, I was very young, like probably, uh, I don't want to, where do I want to put these things? I don't even know anymore. I was like probably 10 or something. And uh, I leapt over the couch. Like I, if I'd seen a slow motion replay of it, would have been like, I would have been flying through the air. And uh, my aunt was like, is stunned because she had no idea that I would have that kind of reaction. And she, she was like, oh, like a little like, uh-oh. It's funny, she's stifling a laugh, but also like, uh, maybe we shouldn't have done that. And then uh, he comes around the back because he doesn't know that I've lost my mind. So this monster creature man comes around the back of the house, bangs on the door and is acting like a lunatic. And I'm freaking out. And uh, then event then they had my aunt broke it to me because I think she realized, okay, this has gone too far and we are going to scar this child. So as my uncle thought, it would be real hilarious if you put on this plastic mask 
and just scares me nearly to death by pretending that he's some kind of crazed homicidal maniac at the door after there's been a news broadcast about some kind of thing. Like, who does that? <laughs> Apparently my family, people in my family, one of my uncles thought to be, they, they, had a, they do have a very good sense of humor. Sometimes uh, humor in my family goes too far. The people in my family have been known to take a joke a little too far. Myself included. I will put myself directly in that category. I'm sure I, there's been plenty of times I people are like, why did he do that? And I'm just like, well, it was funny. And they're like, yeah, but it wasn't. Like, it wasn't? No. no. I once threw a piece of hose up in the air that had a metal, metal band on the end, but I didn't really think about that part. And uh, we're walking through a parking lot. Uh, I was walking through a parking lot with some friends late at night after coming back from a coffee shop. Very young, you know, like a teenager. And I screamed at my friend, Snake! And I hurled this thing up in the air. And it came down and cracked him in the head. And he was bleeding all over the place. So those kinds of things that I thought would be funny sometimes just aren't. <laughs> so sometimes, you know, I saw that. That was weird. Okay, I just saw a, uh, a duder. You see, oh, he's behind the greenhouse. That's where he is. So sometimes the things you think are going to be funny aren't. That's a good rule of thumb in life. I've learned a lot. I don't do stuff like that anymore. I realized that was funny to me. That wasn't funny to him. <laughs> and I should have exhibited a lot more caution before uh, braining my friend and causing him to have to uh, wear a, a bandage on his head because I injured his head. Yeah, you know, he didn't have to go to the hospital, to be fair. <laughs> Although I feel like the bar should be a little higher than that off for a joke. You know, if just saying that, oh, you know, well, he didn't have to go to the hospital. I don't think that's enough of a, maybe you're just going, oh, no big deal. It's like, no, maybe I've gone too far, right? Anyway, that's why, I don't know what got me thinking about that. Jokes. Oh, he's scaring the kids with the eel. See, that's a, my, my immediate go-to is to think, hey, wouldn't it be funny if... No, it wouldn't. It would not be funny if I scared the kids with an eel. They would, they would probably die, and that wouldn't be funny at all. No one would find that funny. Penny definitely would not find that funny. I can tell you that that's one person who would not find that funny. Okay. Wow, we only have one solar essence and 244 of the other ones. Wow. Okay, so I still have... Uh, you know what? Okay, I'm going to carry these because we got to still give the dwarf more actually maybe we'll do we don't need them for this week we got crobes stuff we've got another thing for sandy how are we looking in terms of days of the week and also i just want to see how many things am i missing like four. Oh my gosh so that was great that eel that was in fact an eel and that other thing was in fact a cucumber that we got previously we're still missing a couple really weird fish we need this squid or octopus or something up there and then I don't know what these other fish are going to be, but we will find out. Look at this thing at the bottom. That is that new? I think that is n no way. That the because even this, even this, I think it ended at Slime Jack before. I don't think these fish uh, were known quantities before. I think we've got some new fish here, people. Oh my gosh! Now, is there any new meals? There should be something to make with that Slime Jack. Slime Jack stew. Mmm, tasty. Now, I don't think there's anything new there or there. That's cool. Well, new fish. And I also... Oh! Okay. You know what we're going to do? Because... Oh, no, no. That's not what I, how I want to do this. It's not how I want to do this. I, what I saw... Ouch. I saw when I peeped in here, I saw there was a sweet gem berry that was up. But we want to put this thing into our seed maker, is what we want to do. I thought I saw something out of the corner of my eye as I looked in here. There we go. Because that, that should give me seeds or something, I would hope. Maybe. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. Wow. So the moral of this episode was, is uh, don't pretend you're a crazed killer on the loose. Uh, specifically towards children. The kids don't find that funny. You'd think they would. They don't. Kids just don't have a sense of humor about these things, <laughs> apparently. <laughs> and they're easily scarred by it. Well, that was an exciting episode. I'm glad we got the lava eel. Um, that's been bugging me, that one. 
I, those other things, I have no idea what those are or when we're going to get those. Those things, that's bananas. I don't, it still is mystifying me. I have no conception of where some we're going to get some of the things in this game because I I have not read the wiki. I just don't know. I love that our energy refills, though, as we're sitting here in bed talking. Anyway, we will see you all next time. Till then, bye-bye.